uh, Los Angeles and uh, even longer trip home after a disappointing start to the season, uh, getting back about 9 a.m. and getting ready for a SEC opponent this week. But uh, positive was uh, we came out of it fairly healthy, uh, really nothing that should linger. Uh, we played with tremendous effort, really, for 60 minutes, even when the game was out of question. Uh, all the guys responded and played extremely hard all the way through 60 minutes. Uh, two things that were really disappointing were turnovers, three of which were completely our fault and, and uh, very easily avoidable if we play you know, the way we're supposed to play, one of which I think they did a great job in getting the ball out from uh, Mike Gordon. But uh, those those turned into at least 14 points, if not 21, and can't do that against a good football team. And defensively, as well as we played and as good as we played, especially on third down, we had we had four to six missed tackles in open space that resulted in in several explosives and, and I know for one uh, one of which went for uh, points as well so uh, not not did not play good enough in any phase to play uh, competitively in a game uh, against the team as cali- the caliber of USC but things that we can fix things that we can build off of and honestly a lot of positive when we watch tape that uh, you know that gives you some encouragement for what we're capable of in the future if we eliminate those mistakes. Thank you, Coach. Our first questions uh, come from uh, Little Rock. Uh, Caller, please identify yourself and uh, go ahead. Hey, Coach. This is Jay from Fox 16. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Um, obviously, a lot of negatives uh, that you kind of see on the surface, but but what did you take away from that game in a, in a, in a positive sense? Well, just the attitude of our group and their willingness to play hard was probably the biggest in the first at, at any point when you get into a game like that when it's not going the way you want. You know, you know, guys have to make a decision. Are they going to continue to play with effort? Are they going to play hard? Are they going to point fingers and, and, and kind of take it? And, and I've seen I've seen both sides of that. I've seen the good and the bad. And I was really pleased with all the way through the fourth quarter, even when the game was well out of question, that uh, our guys continue to play hard. Even the, the last series offensively and defensively, we've had guys that were given great effort. So that's uh, something to build on. We, um, you know, we, I thought we played really well on third down defensively. I think uh, 70% getting them off the field, which was huge. Uh, we just gave up too many explosives and, and missed some one-on-one tackles. And then, you know, offensively at times we show, showed some signs of, of matching up okay, but, but not near uh, the kind of team we're capable of. And, and turnovers and, and missed tackles were, were really the, the big key in, in kind of how things went, the difference between a competitive game and, and a, a game that got way out of hand. And I guess uh, with Chambers had uh, sort of a real breakout game there. Uh, was, was it anything schematically that, that helped uh, free him up for all those sacks or – or was it just him making plays? Well, I think it's a couple of things. He made some plays and, and defeated some blocks, and he can run. We we knew those were things were possible. Didn't know how he would handle you know the big stage and and, and it would nerves be a huge factor. And I thought he kept those in check for the most part. I, I think a lot of the, the uh, credit goes to <clears throat> you. <know>, just <clears throat> excuse me. I was being built a little bit better up front. Uh, where uh, you know a year ago we were we were so small and so thin up front that a lot of times that you know we weren't keeping bodies off the linebackers and uh, I thought our our front did a great job at at playing and creating pressure and, and allowing the linebackers to run and that benefited Tajay to have a good game so uh, there's I mean he made some plays on his own no doubt but but we as a front seven and, and especially the, the four down guys uh, did a much better job at, at creating pressure and taking up blocks and, and allowing the linebackers to run free. And I guess lastly for me, um, you know, what do you, what do you tell Freddie after a game like this? Obviously not his, his best effort or uh, anything like that, but, but what do you tell him to kind of keep him in the zone, especially with uh, a team like Mizzou coming up this weekend? Yeah, all you can do is just go back and, and, and show where we made mistakes and decision making has got to be different. I mean, he's played a lot of games for us and and been successful. Uh, it's, I thought it was out of his character to uh, turn the ball the way, turn over the ball the way he did, and uh, show the positive things. We, there was a lot of really good things he did, and created, but uh, you know, stay within the game frame. You know, the, the game plan. Let the guys help you. Be willing to throw the ball away and and and, and move forward. I mean, you got to learn from it, but you also have to have a short memory. You can't let those things linger. We we got to teach and learn. And I thought our guys did a good job of that yesterday. And it's time for you know he's got to respond from it. That's all I got. Appreciate it, Coach. Thanks. Thank you, Jay. Our next questions uh, come from uh, Dave Matter with the uh, St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Uh, please go ahead, Dave. 
Hey, hey, Coach, what what does it mean to, to your program to host a, a nationally ranked SEC team in Jonesboro? I know there was talk for a while about possibly moving this game, but what, what does it mean to have this game at your stadium? Oh, it's a huge for our fan base, for the for the people here in Jonesboro. We always want to play six home games a year, and, and uh, we want to bring in the best caliber opponent that we can. To have uh, an SEC opponent from right down the road, is uh, I think it's great for everybody. I would think it uh, benefits both sides of the equation. But uh, with all that we've got going on, the renovations and just the way the, the, the brand is, is growing, uh, to have this game open up our, our home season uh yeah, and the timing that it is is big for uh, for Arkansas State, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll take advantage of it and and, and pack the pack the house and, and and play a good game. What are some of your impressions of this, this Missouri team? Yeah, I haven't watched them a ton yet. Had a had just a short opportunity. I, I've watched them over the last couple of years. I have a good friend on the staff and, and Pat Washington, so I've watched them when I could. I, I just know they've got tremendous team speed. Uh, they're explosive uh, offensively, and, and obviously there's been a lot of guys on defense over the last few years that have been uh, have made headlines on defense as well. And uh, this, this team looks to be the same. Uh, what little bit I've watched from Saturday's game, I, I see guys that can run. We've seen a lot of multiple looks on defense with the, with the change there, and and, again, offensively, explosiveness, both at quarterback with Mock and just the weapons he's got to, to, to get the ball to. So, huge challenge for us. We've got to be very few matchups that we win head-to-head. Uh, we got to play collectively a really good game in all three phases and, and, and got to eliminate the mistakes this past week to have a chance with these guys. Thanks. Thank you, uh, Dave. Our next questions uh, come from uh, Jonesboro. Uh, caller, please identify yourself and uh, go ahead. Yeah, Coach, it's Randy and Jones, Portland with A-State Nation Radio. I was uh, curious to know your thoughts on uh, the play of Tajay Chambers the other night. Well, we were we were really pretty encouraged with just how he handled everything. Now, he still made several mistakes that, that were, were probably not as noticeable to the to the viewer that uh, that have to be corrected, but in terms of just uh, his ability to run and play in open space and defeat a couple blocks, be able to get to the quarterback, all those were, were were huge for us, and, and it was good to see him do uh, as well as he did, especially under the circumstances against the talent level that we played against and his first career start and, and really his first significant snaps of any kind on defense. Uh, he has progressed very quickly. He puts in the time and effort to get better physically. We knew he was very gifted, but didn't know how that would translate to actual 11-on-11 football. Uh, I think his best football is still way ahead of him. It'll be a lot of fun to watch him mature and progress as a linebacker over a career, but has tremendous skill. And uh, I, th- I thought he played very well, uh, with the exception of just a few you know, mistakes that we need to fix, and whether it be eyes in the wrong place, or uh, I think he had a busted coverage that, that – uh, create an explosive play that, that really was just a, uh immature mistake, but uh, that's kind of expected. And, and we know we're going to have some of those, Randy, that we're going to deal with until he gets really comfortable. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you about was the play of Jan, James Tabry uh, and his role as your backup quarterback. He had some, some pretty solid numbers. Did, did that earn him some Did that earn him some, uh, some future opportunities, do you think? Well, I think it shows us that uh, if for some reason Freddie goes down or, or is not performing at his best, that there's an option to go to to, to tab. So uh, it's not something that we ever look to do. I mean, Freddie's our guy; he's earned that opportunity, and we're gonna we're gonna let Freddie be uh, our leader. But it, it made us feel comfortable that that when James goes in, that he's gonna be comfortable. He's gonna be uh, he's gonna be a good option. He's you know we don't we don't. Ever want to say, you know, Freddie goes down, helmet comes off, injury occurs, whatever that may be, that that things have to change and that you're not going to be competitive on offense. And we're lucky uh, in a way that we can put James in and he's going to be, we feel like he's going to be very effective. There are a lot of people that, that he would be able to start for right now. We're fortunate to have two really good quarterbacks. Thanks, Coach. Mm-hmm. Thank you, and uh, thank you, Coach. That's all the time we have for you today. We uh, We do appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, guys. 